All right, hey, in today's dish, eggnog is undeniably associated with Christmas, wouldn't you say? You know what? It's not Christmas until I see eggnog on the shelves. Okay. Well, you know what? I, it's Christmas before then. If I get a present, it's Christmas. But, oh, really? But you know what? Hey, <laughs> it definitely makes you think of Christmas. And this morning, we're whipping up what is an eggnog bread pudding. Okay, well, let me tell you how this came about. We love eggnog. I had one really long night with eggnog. No, and, uh, <laughs> no but it's, it's kind of like that. Like, I'll bring home eggnog. My wife will bring home eggnog. And, you know, I'm, I'm, after I have one glass of eggnog, I'm good. Yeah. Well, but now I've still got, like, a gallon of eggnog. So we started freezing it. Well, in July, I was like, okay, now that we have, like, eight pounds of frozen eggnog in the freezer, what am I going to do with it? So I came up with all these things, like eggnog stuffed cream puffs. And this is one. And this dish um, was basically I had some bread, I had some sugar, and I had some eggnog that I defrosted. So I made it in July, so it was like Christmas in July. I like that. You know, so it was wonderful. But I want to show you how simple this is. And the lesson here is something called a royal custard. So a royal custard is eight yolks to a pint of liquid. Eight yolks to a pint of liquid. Or four whole eggs to a pint of liquid. Four whole eggs okay. to a pint of now, liquid. Now, if you remember that, What's all right? What's that called again? It's called a royal custard. Royal custard. All right, so I'm not showing you a recipe. I'm showing you a technique. But that's and, only four, and you said four. Well, I'm going to do three. Well, the, the ladies in the audience know why. Oh, okay. I forgot to bring the one that I made at home, so I had to make one really quick when okay, I got here. Okay, so I, I was just trying to make sure I was th following thank you. you. Thank you, thank you for Stephanie. <laughs> Cat's out of the bag. Thank you very much. Let's just make well, the you're chef. you're the one that emphasized let's, that there was like let, four to like know, one pint. All right, I'm an idiot. Okay, I think we've clarified that, Stephanie. Thanks, thanks for letting the whole valley know. It's okay, we'll get there. Whisk, Stephanie. You know what? You, just, we'll get just, some... We'll get... Do you see this? See what she did? I go... Every week we go through this. <laughs> All right, I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> I didn't know I wasn't supposed to go there. I really didn't. I'm no, sorry. No, no. So anyway, the royal custard. So the reason why it's important to know that is because if you know that, you can make a quiche. Okay. You can make ice cream. You can make pudding. You can make bread pudding. You can make um, uh, pastry cream. It's all a royal custard. You just change the liquid. So you can use cream. You can use milk. You can use eggnog. You can use stock. You can use juice. It doesn't matter as long as you keep that ratio. So in here, we have our ratio, but we've used eggnogs and whole eggs, and we've added a bit of sugar, and then we've added a little bit of nutmeg because you can't have eggnog without nutmeg. Have you been working out? Um, no, my arm's actually getting very tired. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to put this under your arm. Now. When I learned in school, when you put something under your arm, you have to use your small muscles instead of your shoulders. So have any of you ever tried to whisk something and your shoulder starts to hurt after a while? Well, if you do this and you use your wrist, like this? it's a little awkward at first, but these are small muscles and they recover. These are big muscles and you'll get tired. Mine so are you'll... very big, let me tell you. <laughs> no, but, but you'll hate to be in the kitchen. So I want you to enjoy being in the kitchen. So this is a very cool technique. And then we're going to add our bread. Yeah, I'm going to go back the other way because I think that I think my small mus muscles aren't as strong oh, as my big let muscles. Let me go this way. Bad TV. Bad chef. Okay. All right. Squish them. Go ahead. Mush them in. Okay. And then we're going to add chocolate chips. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. We like chocolate. You're like, oh, chef, yeah, dessert's nice, but where's the chocolate? So we're going to throw <laughs> these in. Now, if you don't like chocolate, don't add chocolate. If you want to add butterscotch chips or something like cool like that. If you don't like chocolate, you should be sent to some sort of place. That's true. One of those non-chocolate country people. Exactly. Where they have straight jackets on everybody. Yes. So all we have to do now is load this in. Now, I'm making individual ones. Okay. But if you want to make a bigger one, you can do that. I mean, go ahead and throw this in like a 9 by 12 pan. Mm -hmm. Butter it up really well. And then just, I'm using a ladle because it's a little easier. Is this supposed to get kind of mushy? You don't want to get, well, it, it depends you on you. I talked to some people in the audience. And some people like to let it marinate overnight. Okay. So it gets really mushy, kind of like a solid mass. Okay. Um, I like to see the individual bread. All right. So in here, I have one that's finished. Can I get a new from the audience? Ooh, ooh. All right, so that's our finished bit. And then I have some whipped cream. Ooh. It's the simple things in life that really make our day, the oohs and the ahs, right? <laughs> so we're going to put a little bit of whipped cream. Now, if I want to use ice cream, I can do ice cream. And then just to garnish it, just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to garnish it, um, just a little bit of nutmeg on the top, just to show it off. All right? You should be jealous of me. Definitely. It's, it's so simple. Going back for more. And I, as I said, in. this is a technique. So when you see the recipe online, if you say, I don't have eggnog, but you have milk, go crazy. All right, you we're going to go crazy <laughs> with this fantastic recipe. I, I thought I didn't like bread pudding. I changed my mind. Really? I love it. Thank you. You know what all this is, is French toast in a bowl. So if you like French toast, French toast You're is a basic it. royal with bread. All right. How about dress up your holiday with a little sparkle? The secrets to having a blinged out holiday with Camille Matthews. Oh, wow. She's I great love girl. Camille. I, love, awesome. I love her too. <laughs>
Which is good. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs>